The history of entertainment in Nigeria cannot be said to be complete without mentioning the very formidable and passionate musician and journalist, Mr. Olusegun Koforola Bokno, who made his mark in the industry in the 60s and 70s as a pianist and a guitarist who specialized in soul, pop, and funk music. Late Mr. Shegun Bokno co-established a band known as the Hot Four in 1964 which he later rebranded to the Soul Assembly in 1968, which was later renamed Shagun Bokno and the Revolution. Late Shagun Bokno and the Soul Assembly released a variety of songs about the Nigerian culture and political influences, a style described by the BBC as an interesting slice of Nigerian pop music history and culture. The funeral service of the veteran musician Ulu Shagun Bokno was held at the Horse Memorial Methodist Cathedral, Yaba, Lagos, on Tuesday, 29th of August, 2017. The event had in attendance friends and well-wishers of the Bocknos, among whom were veteran actor Ulu Jacobs, renowned medical consultant Ulurugun Sonny Kuku, among many others. They came out to pay their last respect to late Ulu Shegun Bokno, who died at the age of 71. In his biography, which was read by one of his daughters, Mrs. Funke Bokno Obrute, late Shegun Bokno, the third of five children, began his education at the Yaba Methodist School, where he had his primary education. He attended the prestigious King's College, Lagos, for his secondary education before he proceeded to Columbia University, United States, where he obtained a degree in liberal arts. Late Ulu Shegun Bokno and the Soul Assembly recorded two songs, Lord Give Me Soul and I'll Love You No Matter How. The band, which improved and was renamed Shegun Bokno and the Revolution, went on to develop their own style of Afrobeat and Afro Soul. Years later, after a successful and fulfilling career, he split his band to focus more on his family. Late Shegun Bokno was married to Mrs. Ulu Shola Bokno. And they were blessed with two children, Mrs. Funke Bokno Obrute, who is an entrepreneur and one of the pioneers of the event management industry in Nigeria, and Mrs. Tosi Bokno Boyer, an all round entertainer, singer, songwriter, and media personality. Chad Bokno attended Yaba Methodist School, where he had his primary education. As a result of his unusual brilliance, by primary four, he was doubly promoted. And this consequently resulted in him getting direct admission into the prestigious King's College Lagos, where he had a secondary education. At King's College, Shagun was an active member of the school choir. He also joined and recorded with I like band leader Rochika Go, the rhythm dandy's dance band, where he was an apprentice and he also composed songs with him. He co-established and he was a member of a new band known as the Hot Four where he was the band's organist and lead guitarist with other members like Sumi Smart Cole, who was the drummer, and the Nelson Cole brothers. And the group played regularly in Lagos clubs, such as Sumi Lirin Night Club. Due to his um, also while he was in King's College, he was among the five delegates King's College selected to represent Nigeria at the World Youth Forum in the United States of America. Afterwards, he went to the United States after secondary school to study uh, psychology at New York. Columbia University. During his time in the United States of America, he was exposed to soul music 
and he was greatly influenced by Ray Charles and his style of music. When Sherman returned to Nigeria, he reconnected with members of his former band, The Hot Four, and they rebranded and created a new band called The Soul Assembly. The sermon was next, and it was delivered by Reverend Ulushalama Kindigbe. In his sermon, which he tagged, Life is not useless when you prepare to die. He said, Death is inevitable for every mortal, as we're all aliens on earth. He urged all Christians to live a worthy life, as it's the only ticket to eternity with God. Reverend Ulushalama Kindigbe beseeched all to take stock of their lives on earth, as everyone will give account of their lives on the day of judgment. A father called on all to renew their faith in Christ, as no one knows when death will come knocking. As stated in Ecclesiastes 3 2 a, that is the time to be born and the time to die. For our beloved brother, Shemu Koku, this is the time to die. So, that brings up this question. What then is the meaning of death? I will look through the dictionary. As a noun, death means departure from life, that is, expiry, or a time when something comes to an end, or to put it straight, the final state. If I ask, who is prepared to die here this morning? I am sure nobody will raise his or her up. However, the truth is that we have to prepare for our dying. And the question is, why do we have to prepare for our dying? There are several reasons, and God will bring some of them to bear at this time. The first is, Life is inevitable for every mortal. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 2. Even those who are born into covenant with death, those who have covenants with death, will eventually die. Because Isaiah 28, verse 17 reveals that. And in Yoruba language, we say, We say that we are not going to Next was prayer for the immediate family, conducted by Reverend Ulurati Odubogun. This was followed by the recessional hymn, as the body of late Ulushegu Bokno was moved to the Koyi Cemetery for the dust-to-dust -dust rite, in company of his immediate family. Bring the final burial ceremony for late Ulushegun Bokna to an end was a reception which was held at Harbour Point, Victoria Island, Lagos. The event played host to media personalities and an array of musical groups that came out to celebrate a veteran musician who had contributed immensely to the entertainment industry. The sugar band got on stage to dish out danceable songs to entertain guests. Afterward was a performance by Mr. Dari Falade, who performed some of the songs of late Shagun Bokno.
Other highlights of the night were performances by other musical groups who took turns to celebrate the life of a mentor and an icon in the entertainment industry. It was celebration all the way till the very end as Sugar Band and DJ Sax entertained the guests more as many of them joined the children of the deceased on the dance floor. From Biscuit Communications, we wish late Mr. Olusha Gokufuru Ola Bokno a good rest in the bosom of the Lord and indeed commiserate with the Bokno's. <laughs>